Every year, Niche's Street Art Festival gives artists from across the country a place to showcase their talents. Festival goers of all kinds walked up and down Albert Street, enjoying dozens of stalls and hundreds of paintings, drawings, jewelry and more. Most people came out just to enjoy the festival, while other, more recognizable figures were out on a scouting mission. Well actually I'm taking a look around at all the wonderful artworks that has been um, produced by many Belizeans out here, um, and actually getting some inspiration. As a part of this what I'm looking at, we're trying to actually develop the Memorial Park area and I'm sightseeing now to see how we can look at some of these uh, business houses here to get them to be in the Memorial Park that you want to really develop which comes on the um, tourism for my, my fellow colleague here and we're looking forward to how can we get some of these to be more prominently displayed on a regular basis and get these young entrepreneurs them that, that, uh, that capital that they are so far so seeking. I've seen a lot of tourists here today actually, a lot of tourists passing by. Is that something that you guys are going to try and emphasize further with you know more events like this that will get the tourists to actually come through you know this downtown Belize city that's often overlooked? Of course, of course, of course. Uh, the more tourists come, the more money comes into our country, you know, the, the more money Belizeans have to spend. So that is one of the things that we're looking at and how to actually uh, create create avenues so that we could have uh, entrepreneurs, artists, etc. Come together as one and sell their art and not only in Belize but internationally you know we have a lot of talent here and it's just this is just one of the ways how it's been exposed and while the councillors were looking for artists to help enhance Belize City's new brand as a major tourist destination they told us about some pieces that had caught their eye and in terms of what you've seen so far is there anything that you have your eye on any any pieces of art or maybe some food or something like that I'm awaiting to see the completion of um, the, the the street art festival there's one guy in the masters who's doing a mural for Leela Vernon that thing is from what I've seen, it's exceptional, so I'm waiting for the finished product. There is many different things because everybody have a little different taste of something, but what what have caught my eyes the most is the, the paintings done by Alex. You know, those are some really inspirational paintings and that is actually one of the things that has caught my eyes other than um, the mural by for, for Leela Vernon. Art may have been the main attraction, but several other institutions were promoting their messages as well, like the Museum of Belize, whose staff has been trying to attract a younger generation of historians. Now, as you said, the, one of your missions is to make the Museum of Belize more kid-friendly and to bring in a lot of younger students. Do you think that events like these are a good gateway to, to you know, funneling more kids or letting people know that there are institutions and other areas where they can learn more about the history and culture of their country? Well, they serve a purpose which is an educational campaign. Out here we're, we're putting out an educational campaign to kids. They, they come with probably an older sibling or with their parents and they, they've never been to the museum and they come and say, you know what, um, I want to come to the museum. So we use these mediums to go and, and ask people to, to, to come and see what we have we have in there. So that's the purpose of, of the event like this. Also, you know, the, the wider scale for the, for the um, Street Art Festival is to promote uh, local artists. And, of course, no festival would be complete without good food. Some of Belize's most well-known chefs made an appearance as well. I got a little nice lineup out here for this art fit. I got uh, succulent pork ribs, I got uh, honey barbecue chicken marinated in our belican stout. And also I got Kong's kebab with a nice homemade flour turkey, coconut rice and beans. I mean, man, I need, the guys got to go look forward for this. Right. Okay, so Chef, tell us, is events like this, are these the kind of things that you look forward to? Where you know you have a lot of people coming through so that they can taste the different dishes that you've been making? Yeah, it's true. I always try to keep it healthy and I notice that uh, other people doing barbecue too, but everybody got their own flavor, so I got my own these secrets, so that way I think everybody will taste a different scene of mine, so that way I could boast about my product, you know? Reporting for 7 News, this is Alex Courtney.